Hi, welcome to the Nine Malls review of the As Seen on TV Touch and Brush. It's the hands-free toothpaste dispenser. Dispenses the perfect amount of your favorite toothpaste instantly. And it says bonus, Sonic 4x toothbrush, free inside. No mess, no waste. Vacuum Force dispenses the perfect amount every time. No electricity, no batteries, no more struggling with messy tubes, no more sticky bathroom sinks, no more fighting for the last drop of paste, no more kids leaving behind a morning mess. So you just, one, two, three installation, press on the suction cups, insert your favorite toothpaste tube, slide on the cover, insert toothbrush. So now I'm going to take it out of the box, see what we got here. Here's the, what they call Sonic toothbrush. I don't think I'll be using this, but let's try it out, see if it's worth, you know, it could be good. The cap just fell off, but here it is, pretty lightweight. Um, got a rubberized handle right here. All right. Here are the suction cups. Nothing more in the box. And the operating instruction booklet. So you have three pieces basically. You have the sticky, um, you have the suction cups, and the this is the dispenser and uh, the tube right here. So you just slide this on like so. That sticks to your wall. That's where the toothpaste is unloaded. So let's uh, read the install instructions. Remove the cap from your toothpaste tube. If the toothpaste has a flip top, you must remove the entire cap for proper operation. Push the tip of the toothpaste tube into the pump. The threads of the tube should no longer be visible. Gently squeeze the toothpaste tube until the toothpaste dispenses from the pump. Be sure to squeeze until the toothpaste appears. Clean off any toothpaste that may have fallen onto the lever. Slide the touch and brush cover back onto the unit. Hold your toothbrush horizontal and place the brush head against the dispenser lever and push. Only one push is needed to, to properly dispense the correct amount of paste onto your brush. Okay, so this is my toothpaste right here. And I'm just going to do what the directions say. So the toothpaste goes in there. And then especially you you squeeze it. All right, I'm gonna see if we can get this. All right, so I squeeze the tube, put it back on. So it's like hanging on your wall like this. And let's get this toothbrush right here. So I'm gonna put toothbrush and the toothpaste should come out. And it's not. So that's an issue right there. Uh, not working so far. So I'm gonna, this is not a full toothpaste tube, so I'm just gonna squeeze it down to the bottom and then put it back in this product, the touch and brush. All right, now squeeze it. So there we go, now it's, as you can see the toothpaste coming out. All right, so it should be ready now. All right, so we put it on. You can see there the toothpaste is coming out just a little bit, so I think it's ready. And push against this with the brush. And it's not working at all. 
Let me just use my finger. Oh. Let's see. So when I push forward, nothing comes out, but when I push back on it towards me, the toothpaste does come out. Okay, so in the directions, um, it clearly shows that you push forward to dispense the toothpaste. Okay, so I think I figured it out. You don't hold the toothbrush right here. You put the toothbrush on this plastic piece right here below this little rubberized dispenser thing. So you you push forward like that and there you go. And the toothpaste comes out onto the brush just like the advertiser claims. So even though this does work, I mean look how huge this thing is. Okay, so do you want this in your bathroom just to dispense toothpaste? Um, to me, it looks pretty ugly. I would much rather just have a, a toothpaste tube in the drawer than this giant thing stuck to my bathroom wall. Now, you know, if that's something you think would actually save you time, you know, putting the toothpaste on, look at that. So you just press once, puts the correct amount on, and you're ready to go. Um, then go for it, buy it. But I just think this product is way too big, way too bulky to be something realistic that you're actually going to put in your bathroom and you know in the end they say like less cleanup but you know just testing a couple times you can see the this little rubberized piece gets toothpaste on it the plastic gets a little toothpaste on it so you'd have to remove this from your wall and clean it underneath the sink which probably is going to be you know a little bit more difficult than if you made a mess you know with your normal toothpaste tube so the claim that this is less messy, I don't necessarily think it is. So uh, it's up to you to make that decision, um, but uh, I don't recommend it just based on it's a simple task that requires this gigantic uh, machine <laughs> that you stick to your wall. I don't think it's worth it. Um, so next I'm going to test this toothbrush just because it was in the package and uh, see how this works. All right, so I put two AA batteries in here. It's all ready to go. And I'm going to turn it on. So here we go. And as you can see, it makes a ton of noise. Um, but if you feel the head of the toothbrush, um, it does kind of feel like a Sonicare. It has that same kind of vibrating action that the Sonicare has. Um, I'll just put it in the glass of water so you can see it visually. Alright, so for something thrown in for free, uh, you know, this is, I guess, decent. Um, are there any things to back up? This actually cleans your teeth better than a regular toothbrush? Probably not. So, I would probably stick with your Sonicare. I wouldn't use this. I would just stick with a toothbrush. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to buy the Touch and Brush or get more information on it, or get more information on the uh, toothbrush that's included, just go to my website 9malls.com, that's the number 9, M-A-L-L-S.com, and click on the As Seen on TV graphic. That will take you over to Amazon, and uh, that's where you can find, there's tons of reviews on this product, um, and you can also make a purchase if you'd like. And uh, also, please subscribe to my videos, and thanks for watching.